we're here at a very important time in history in Washington, D.C. It's especially special for me because I was here 50 years ago with my mother on August 28th. There weren't websites 50 years ago, but amazingly, there was still an estimated 250,000 people that came to the march. It was enough for people from around the country to hear the word, and of course, Dr. King, like he did with, with us, he visited Detroit in June, a few months before the August march, and asked us to join him here, and that's what my mother did, was brought me so I could stand up with my mother and others so people would have the dream that Dr. King spoke of like I did. At 12 years old, um, how inspiring was the march for you? It was very inspiring for me because when at 12, I, and in, at home in Detroit, I was able to go to inter integrated schools and live in integrated neighborhoods. We could ride the bus, public transportation, and we could sit wherever we wanted to. And that was the way I believed America was supposed to be. And that picture that was taken of me at the march, the expression on my face was my feelings of anger and frustration and disappointment to know that children like me couldn't do the things that I did. So do you think it's going to take 50 more years for the world to be a better place? I don't think that it will take another 50 years. It will if people don't get involved. It doesn't have to, but it will. It will never occur if people don't come together.